at the start, I was doing all of my admin overnight, which worked out pretty well when it was just me and one other guy because it was only sort of half hour, 45 minutes of just a few emails or one or two quotes. So you'd be on the tools all day and then try and get on top of the admin at night, which is common, right? For most of our listeners, that's a common scenario. Yep. I just needed the cash. So I thought, you know, I need the more I'm on the tools, the more cash I'll have. And then I'll just sort out the admin stuff after I've done the, the work. And it did work pretty well at the start. But once I got to five people, I was doing probably three hours of admin four nights a week um, from seven to about 10 and just doing everything half assed, quotes half assed, info on the job wasn't enough for other employees to know what was going on. I just had everything up in my head. So so pretty much you're pushing things through just to tick a box to get out, but the quality was obviously low. The yep. planning was poor, quotes were poor, profitability yep. was poor, productivity was poor. And so yep. what made the change? So we and it's been great you know, having you part of our community and, and jumping on pretty much the start of 2020. Yeah, no, uh, I first come across like the podcast, to be honest. I'm a bit of a podcaster mm. and listen to a few different podcasts and everyone that had been successful and seemed to have the perfect ratio of work and life all had like a business coaching program or a mentor. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and yeah, a lot of the other ones I listened to were a bit too corporate and cheesy, but I just like the, the cube sort of way of doing it sort of no bullshit, just get stuck in and get it done. So yeah, that's why I sort of reached out and signed up. And then, and I appreciate that. And, and, and as you were with our program, it is all about honesty and about accountability. And, and, and with our success habits and the methodology, it's great. We've got a great track record, um, but you can have a good, great track record and you can you know, have all the steps in place, but essentially it's still up to the individual to really implement it and buy into it. And that's one thing that you've done really well. It is pretty daunting, to be honest, like even just um, opening your books up to someone that you're basically paying to critique everything can pick your business apart. So everything you feel like you've been doing right could be wrong. So you do feel pretty vulnerable at the start, but obviously it's not like that at all. You're all here to help. So um, you've got to be open no, to the process. Yeah. hundred percent. You've got to be willing to be. Yeah. If you're told that something's not right, you have to be willing to change it. Otherwise there's no point doing it, but that's the whole thing. I could have kept doing what I was doing and probably survived till I was 60, but I still would have been doing the exact same thing hmm. when I was 60 and I've had massive change just in six months. So oh, it's, yeah, huge. it's been, been really good. And look, the, the pleasing thing, you know, from our point of view and as a valuable member of our community, our client community with Q performance and going through the power up coaching program is that your you've really sort of rolled the sleeves up and implemented it hundred percent. And what you've done, which is what we want everyone to do and everyone who runs a business, this is what we should be aiming for. Is it you're really getting the business to work for you. You're really getting the business to be, to serve you. Yeah, it's been good. And it was really perfect timing coming on board because we just had our second child then. So Mm. now like we all know what they're like, they want all of your attention, but you can actually Mm. be, they're present and mm. actually engage with them rather than be there playing with them, thinking about, oh, shit, I got to write back to that email when they go to bed or, or oh, didn't do that or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I'll just go home at the end of the day. I know I've done everything I need to do for the day and anything else can just wait till tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just a really good feeling. 